Hello everyone and happy Tuesday. Hope you're having a great day so far. Whether it's Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday or whatever day you're tuning in, I hope that you're having a great day. I love this time with you and I love finding stories that I feel will um, touch you or maybe just make us think. So anyway, the, the story that I chose today is from a book called God's Answers for Life's Questions. There is someone I care about who needs to know you, Lord. What can I do? Everywhere we go, we talk about Christ to all who will listen, warning them and teaching them as well as we know how. We want to be able to present each one to God, perfect because of what Christ has done for each of them. So here are a few possible instructions. If anybody asks why you believe as you do, be ready to tell them. From 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15. When you are with unbelievers, always make good use of the time. Be pleasant and hold their interest when you speak the message. Choose your words carefully and be ready to give answers to anyone who asks questions. From Colossians chapter 4, verses 5 and 6. Such confidence as this is ours through Christ before God. Not that we are competent in ourselves, but our competence comes from God. He has made us competent as ministers of a new covenant. From 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 4 through 6. I urge then, first of all, that requests, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be made for everyone. This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants all men and women to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. From 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 and 3 through 4. Open their eyes so that they may turn from darkness to light and from the dominions of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among those who have been sanctified by faith in me. That was from Acts 26, verse 18. Now this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him. From 1 John chapter 5, verses 14 through 15. Behold, I have given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing will injure you. From Luke chapter 10, verse 19. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. From Matthew chapter 16, verse 19. And hear these promises. I was found by those who did not seek me. I revealed myself to those who did not ask for me. Romans chapter 10, verse 20. And from Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 11 and 16. For thus says the Lord God, Behold, I myself will search for my sheep and seek them out. I will seek the lost, bring back the scattered, bind up the broken, and strengthen the sick. From Isaiah chapter 42, verse 16, I will lead the blind by ways they have not known. Along unfamiliar paths I will guide them. I will turn the darkness into light before them and make the rough places smooth. These are the things I will do. I will not forsake them. So these are just a few examples of scripture lessons that you can turn to. But you know, I need to share with you as a Christian, there are times when I'm just at a gathering, a party, a wedding, or anywhere I could possibly be. And sometimes someone will say to me, how come you're so happy all the time? And I don't even have to think because I know a lot of that comes because of my faith in God. And then they want to know about my story. So I share a little bit about my story. And I tell them, come to church. Or tune into some of our 
messages that we present online. Maybe you can find that kind of joy too. Maybe you can find that joy and wake up every day and say, Lord, this is going to be a good day. And find all of the positive things that happen each day. Because there's a lot of crap in the world. And sometimes that's what people focus on. But if we focus on the positive and focus on the joy and focus on the love, then we're doing what God calls us to do. So tell someone you love them today. If it's a friend, someone in your family, or even a stranger on the street, just tell them you love them and see what kind of reaction you get. God bless you all and have a great rest of your Tuesday.